This video describes how to configure Windows authentication when a resource is protected by SiteMinder WebAgent and SiteMinder Policy Server. By configuring Windows authentication, you enable single sign-on. Single sign-on allows authenticated users to access a resource without re-authenticating. CA SiteMinder allows administrators to assign protection levels to authentication schemes with the policy server UI. Users of one realm can access a resource in another realm, which is of equal or lesser protection level using single sign-on. If a user of one realm tries to access a resource in another realm protected by an authentication scheme with a higher protection level, CA SiteMinder prompts the user to re-enter their credentials. Authentication schemes provide a way to collect credentials and determine the identity of a user. CA SiteMinder supports various authentication schemes ranging from basic username password and HTML forms based authentication to digital certificates. IIS Web Agent supports the NT Challenge Response Authentication Scheme. In this the IIS web server challenges the user's Internet Explorer browser when a user requests access to a resource. The challenge is a mathematical calculation based on the user's password that is stored on the user's client system. The browser returns the calculation results to the web server, which compares the response with a password information in its database and does the same calculation. If the results match, the server allows the user access. This process is transparent to the user. SM auth type HTTP header variable value defines the authentication scheme. Depending on the authentication scheme used to authenticate users, the variable SM auth type can have different values. In the demo we will apply the header variable value as NT challenge response to enable Windows authentication. We will now watch a demo. We have already installed and configured the policy server and web agent. And we will go through the form authentication, launch an Internet Explorer and enter the CA SiteMinder protected URL header.asp. Enter your credentials and click login. Note that the value for header variable HTTP SM auth type is set as form. We want the user signed in without the additional sign in form. For this we need to change the HTTP SM auth type value. Go to the SiteMinder FSS administrative UI. Here we will view the list of authentication schemes that are configured. Click authentication schemes. From the authentication scheme list double-click IWA. Verify the fields in the authentication scheme properties. Authentication scheme type combo lists the schemes available. Verify the web server name, target and user DN lookup fields. User DN lookup should be strictly SAM account name equals percent UID. This Active Directory attribute is ideal setup for Windows Authentication or IWA. With this authentication style, PSZ Param has an LDAP filter added to the beginning of the redirection URL. Click OK button. Select Domains tab. Expand FSS UI Domain. Expand Realms. Select FSS UI RL. Double click FSS URL. In the Realm Properties window, select the Authentication Scheme drop down list. And then select IWA. Click OK button. Right click FSS URL. Select Flush Resources in Realm. Click Tools. Select Manage Cache. Click Flush. Click Flush again. Click Flush All. Click the OK button. Click Start and then select Internet Information Services Manager. Expand the machine name. Expand Sites. Expand Default Website. Expand SiteMinder Agent. 
Select NTLM. Double-click Authentication. Right-click Windows Authentication. Select Enable. Right-click Anonymous Authentication. Select Disable. Click Start and select Command Prompt. Type IIS Reset slash Stop and press Enter. Services have successfully stopped. You may alternatively check Task Manager to view the status of the process. Type IIS Reset slash Start and press Enter. Services have successfully started. Launch an Internet Explorer and enter the CA Site Minder Protected URL header.asp. You will see that the HTTPS auth type header value has changed to NT Challenge Response. This completes our demo. Thank you for watching. You may visit ca.com education page for more information.